Hello, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I have something a little bit different today. Uh, this kind of goes along the same lines as my munch box and my, like, that kind of stuff, except this is about coffee. Okay, um, I actually, oh, I keep trying different types of coffee to see what I like. And I actually ordered some coffee from Brutality uh, Coffee that I, cause I was on Alt Knots and she drinks Brutality Coffee. So I ordered some with some skull mugs and I got it for Ashley and Tia, my daughter Ashley and Tia for Christmas. I haven't heard back whether or not they like the coffee. No news is good news maybe. <laughs> they definitely like the mugs. Um, so I got Tia a dark roast and I got Ashley a medium roast. So anyways, uh, I never got a chance to try the coffee, but um, it smelled really good. <laughs> Let's just say, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to try and check out a coffee company that was Canadian because I'm in Canada, obviously. Duh. <laughs> um, and so I checked around and there's a coffee company here called Salt Spring Coffee, which is um, an island that is like not that far from here. And I thought, no, I want something else. So I kept checking around and I found a company called Java Works. Now, Java Works is actually in Mississauga, Ontario. And apparently they have been around since 1968. I was born in 1969. So that just shows you how old the company is. <laughs> so they must know their coffee well. Um, so I'm just going to read this little thing. at the About Us. It says, from a tiny on a Toronto storefront in 1968, our family roasted our first batch of delicious coffee. In the early days, it was our passion for the world's greatest beverage that inspired us to perfect our craft. Today, from the roasters in Mississauga, Ontario, we celebrate our third generation of coffee roasting and bring to bring and bringing you an exceptional and memorable coffee drinking experience. Well, they have a ton of different coffees, a ton. Uh, it was so much fun looking through the website. Um, they have blends. They have single, um, single orient origins. They have small batches, espresso, organic and fair trade, flavored coffees, portion packs, and green coffee. Now, they also have tea. They carry tea from uh, different companies. They've got uh, um, Numi Organic Tea. Love that. Mighty Leaf. I've seen them. I think, is it Starbucks that carries Mighty Leaf? I can't remember. There's a, a big place that, that carries it. Bigelow uh, Gourmet Tea and Matcha. So I decided that I was going to get four different kinds. And I am so excited. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> Oops, a little bit of glare. Okay, so I got cinnamon hazelnut. Yum! Cinnamon and hazelnut together? Are you kidding me? Holy cow. So, and then I got caramel macchiato for George, because he loves caramel macchiato. And then I got, of course, spiced eggnog. Hello, I get to have eggnog all year round. Oh my goodness. And then I got pumpkin spice. Ah! Yes. I am so pumped. So I opened up the cinnamon hazelnut to try it first. And I got. Now, when I have coffee, the first thing I notice is when I'm putting the creamer in the coffee. Is it when by the time I get the amount of cream that I want in it, is it still dark? Is it really, really light? 
or is it just right? And I found out it's just right. And this is the first sip I'm going to take. I'm so excited. Oh, yep. I can taste both cinnamon and hazelnut. Wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. It's a very light taste. Um, so I would imagine if you're making a pot, you can use more than less. I put mine in the Keurig. I have re reusable K-cups. So I put mine in the K, in the K cup for my Keurig. That's good. That is really good. The fact that you can actually taste cinnamon and hazelnut, one doesn't overpower the other. That's special, right? <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about this. Okay, the ingredients are um, natural and artificial flavors. Okay. Um, that's pretty much all it says about that. I'm, And if you go into... Let's see, go into flavored coffees. And like, holy cow, you guys. I, I, hello, they have Canadian maple, which is going to be the next one I get. Um, caramel macaroon, really. Uh, toffee caramel. Chocolate raspberry. Swiss water. Uh, vanilla, vanilla buttercream. Italian amaretto, cream brulee, a creme brulee, sorry, butter, uh, butter pecan. Um, they have another hazelnut that's vanilla hazelnut. Um, French vanilla, Belgian chocolate, Irish cream, milk chocolate, mint chocolate, blueberry cobbler. What? <laughs> uh, French toasted. French toast, dark chocolate, Neapolitan, like the ice cream, and Swiss chocolate almond. That's just for their bland or for their flavored coffees. That's not their blends or anything else. Like, I, wow. Okay, so let's look. Oh, look at the <clears throat> cinnamon hazelnut. So this one, yeah, I think that's the one I got. It's 340 grams, 12 ounces for this bag. Okay, it was $12.95. I'm going to say that's Canadian. I'm going to say it's Canadian. Um, what else have we got here? It's dairy-free and gluten-free. Yay. And you can get it in uh, whole bean, French press, Chemex. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Aero press and drip coffee. I just got it in drip coffee. And that's probably the same for all of the coffees. Um from what I from what I saw so I I urge you to go and check out their website especially if you're Canadian Lisa Cindy Debbie if you're watching me I don't even know if Debbie watches my channel <laughs> you know all my Canadian friends go check out this um this site because it's it's really good coffee <clears throat> it really is and um, if you're not Canadian, that's okay. It will cost you even less uh, for the coffee if you are in the U.S., right? Bonus, bonus. I believe, do they have? Um, no, not this one. I thought it was this one that had the monthly subscription, but they don't. It's, it was a different company that I was looking at. The Brutality Coffee does have a monthly subscription so but I can't remember where they where they're coming from down in the state somewhere so I will put both links down below if you are interested 
if you are coffee crazy like me. Bonus! <laughs> okay, guys, so that's all I have to say. I just wanted to tell you about this coffee because it's so good. You know, the, the fact that I don't have to put coffee creamer in my coffee to get the flavoring really appeals to me. I was a um, creamer, coffee creamer fanatic. I could not have a cup of coffee without it. And with that, my waist just went, right? Um, and I'm also lactose intolerant, so it was not helping if you remember in my videos and it's still I still put cream like um, milk in my coffee just a little bit and I still get that <coughs> thing right it's just like a film that is on my throat and it's even worse when I have coffee creamer so um, the fact that I don't need that and it's already flavored and it's beautifully flavored really makes a big difference I am not an affiliate, just to say, I am not an affiliate. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, there's another great coffee company out here and it's been around for 15 years, right? <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna be 52 this year. I had a hard enough time with 50. So anyways, go check it out. Um, they do have coffee credits. Uh, on here so if you um, join and you start buying all this coffee then you get credits to put towards your coffee for next time so yay okay guys I'm gonna let you go uh, I'm gonna go and enjoy my cup of coffee by my fire yes I am and I'm gonna crochet yes I am okay guys I love you all I will talk to you later bye